George and the Dragonette. This is the countryside. My name is St. George. I'm a knight. Saturday, July the 10th, 8.05 p.m. I was working out of the castle in the night watch when a call came in from the chief. A dragon had been devouring maidens. Homicide. My job. Slay him. Call me, chief? Yeah, it's the dragon again. Devouring maidens. The king's daughter may be next. Mm -hmm. Got a lead? No, oh, nothing much to go on. Say, did you take that 45 automatic into the lab to have him check on it? Yeah. You were right. I was right? Yeah. It was a gun. 8.22 p.m. I talked with one of the maidens who had almost been devoured. Can I talk to you for just a minute, ma'am? Who are you? St. George, ma'am. Homicide, ma'am. Just want to ask you a few questions, ma'am. I understand you were almost devoured by the ma'am. Is that right, dragon? <laughs> Already. Yes, ma'am. How can I be sure of that, ma'am? Believe me, I got it right from the dragon's mouth. Eleven forty-five p.m. I rode over the King's Highway, saw a man, stopped to talk to him. Pardon me, sir. Can I talk to you for just a minute, sir? Sure, I don't mind. What do you do for a living? I'm a knave. Mm-hmm. Didn't I pick you up on a nine oh three last year for stealing tarts? Yeah. So what, do you want to make a federal case out of it? No, sir. We just heard it was a dragon operating in this neighborhood. We just want to know if you've seen him. Sure, I've seen him. Mm -hmm. Could you describe him for me? What's to describe? You see one dragon, you've seen them all. <laughs> We're just trying to remember, sir, just for the record. We just want to get the facts. Well, he was big and green with orange polka dots. Yes, sir. His purple feet, he was breathing fire and smoke. Mm -hmm. And one big bloodshot eye right in the middle of his forehead and... Uh, like that. Mm -hmm. Notice anything unusual about him? No, he's just a run-of-the-mill dragon, you know. Yes, sir, you can go now. Uh, by the way, how are you going to catch him? I thought you'd never ask. A dragon net. <laughs> 3 5 p.m., I was riding back into the courtyard to make my report to the lab when it happened. It was a dragon. Hi! I'm the fire-breathing dragon! You must be St. George, right? Yes, sir. I see you got one of them new 45 caliber swords. That's about the size of it. <laughs> you slay me! Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm taking it in a 502. You'll figure it out. What's the charge? Devouring maidens out of season. Out of season? You never been a rap on me! Do you hear me, cop? Yeah, I hear you. I got you in a 412, too. A 412? What's a 412? Overacting. <laughs> on September the 5th, the dragon was tried and convicted. His fire was put out and his maiden devouring license revoked. Maiden devouring out of season is punishable by a term of not less than 50 nor more than 300 years.